fixing up my dad's old C10 and I just got a new air filter for it. As you can see, it's just the classic Elbrock. You can find it like O'Reilly's or AutoZone or whatever. But the problem is it doesn't reach the stud. So this is just like a generic $80 Amazon special carburetor. And this is the actual, the original stud, but it's way too short and it's like an inch bigger. So I'm gonna be showing you how I'm going to get around that. So obviously first step, take this out. So I went to the store already and I tried finding one that was just a little bit bigger at like AutoZone, but they didn't have it obviously. So I went to Ace and I was able to buy these parts. So as you can see, I have this piece of quarter inch 20 all thread and I got a flange nut and just a normal nut. And with these, I'm going to basically recreate this shape right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my normal nut. I'm going to screw that on first. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my flange nut with the flange facing down because that's going to recreate this part right here. And I'm going to screw that on. Just like that. And then you want to take your old one, kind of match it up. It doesn't need to be like too perfect because you can always adjust it later. That's pretty dang close. Maybe just like half a turnover. I'd say. That's it, it's pretty dang good. So now I'm going to take some, either like two wrenches or some vice grips or anything really, and just tighten these down. So hold this one still and tighten this into that and butt them up. And so I just take it. I'm gonna use vice grips around the flange because it's kind of hard to get a thin enough um, wrench. So then just take that, slide it on. Just get a good grip on it, tighten it up. And I'll say that should be tight enough. It's not gonna back, especially because like nothing's really touching it. So now I'm gonna go screw that in, measure how high it is, and then just slice it off. So we just take it, should thread right in, and it does. Lovely. Nice. Just like that. And then we can take this, I'll take this top part off just so you guys can kind of see. And I also had to purchase this adapter plate. So if you guys are having trouble getting this to like fit on your new air filter, they sell these at O'Reilly's. It comes in like a pack like five. So you just pick whichever one fits your setup and that fits. And then this just comes on and it seats on it right there. Like so. And then take this, drop it in. When you buy this air filter, it comes with a brand new wing nut, and that should just thread right on nicely. And now I'm going to mark it like a little bit above where I want it to be. Just right there, I think, lined up with the tops of the wings. I think it should be plenty, it should give me enough wiggle room to play with. So I'll go with my angle grinder, just chop it right off. And if you notice, I screwed on the wing nut before I cut it. So that way when I back this out, it'll help straighten out those threads. Because usually when you cut it, even after like rounding it off, the threads are usually a little bit jacked up. And as you can see, it gets stuck because they are a little bit jacked up. So I just go back and forth slowly until it eventually straightens them out. And then you're chilling. Your thread should be fine. And then, as you can see, it goes right back on. So now let's go slap it on, see how it looks. All right, there you have it. As you can see, it's nice and secure and it looks pretty dang nice especially with this brand new air filter on it and it just brings out the whole car makes it look so much better for the longest time it's been sitting without an air filter which is not ideal so this i'm very happy to have it on so i hope you guys enjoyed the little tip if you want to see more like this i'll be probably uploading short little videos like this as i work on this truck um so if you want to see that be sure to subscribe and if you like this video be sure to like the video and i'll see you guys next time